Hi, welcome to Open Door Yoga. My name is Michelle and today we're going to go through a chair yoga practice. The sequence is short and it's designed to just stretch out our body. We're going to move slowly, reconnect with the breath, and the only prop that you need is a chair. When choosing your chair, make sure that you pick one that has four legs that can ground down evenly into the earth. That's going to leave you feeling safe and secure as we transition between different postures. So take a minute, get what you need, then let's get started. Let's get started in a nice, comfortable, easy seat at the front of your chair. Make sure that you're not too far forward that you feel unstable, but far enough where you can ground down into both feet. Stack your shoulders over your hips, ears over your shoulders, and take a moment to check in with your breath. Notice air filling up through your entire rib cage, sending your breath first to your low lungs and then filling upwards. As you release your breath, you can imagine exhaling breath from the bottom up as well. Full inhales and exhales to release your breath completely, making abundant space for your new inhale. Begin to feel grounded through not only the soles of your feet, but also through your sitting bones in your chair. You can begin to take some single shoulder rolls if that feels good in your body, or just sit anchoring to your breath. If you're taking shoulder rolls, we'll just take one more on each side. And wherever you are, release your arms down to your side. Inhale, rise to extended mountain. Or pause here for a moment, really reaching up through your fingertips and then sliding your shoulders down away from your ears, shoulder blades flat on your back body. Take one more full breath in. And exhale slowly and gently twist to the left. Inhale back to center, extend those arms overhead and exhale twist to the right. Move with your breath, alternating twists. And as you begin to get settled, you have some options here. Your gaze can naturally follow your breastbone or your sternum. Or if it feels good in your neck, you can send your gaze in the same direction as your twist, peeking over your back shoulder, or you can send it in the opposite direction, peeking over your front shoulder. So see what feels good in your body. and just stay connected with your breath. These nice, slow moving, recover and restore yoga classes are great opportunities to practice that breath body connection. Take one more on each side. Last inhale to center. Really feel that sensation between both of your side bodies. And then exhale, release. From here, we're gonna come into a few seated cat cows. You can start with your hands on the fronts of your knees. And as you inhale, pull gently, just enough to send your heart space forward and up. Roll your shoulders back, gaze lifts slightly. This is our BT Lasana, or seated cow. And then on your next exhale, begin to round through your spine. Let your gaze drop. Marjoryasana, cat pose. Flow with your breath. 
And on these inhales, feel this widening opening between your chest, collarbones, and exhales. Feel that stretch between your shoulder blades and your upper back body. If it feels good, you could even bring your arms up and overhead. You may feel a lot of sensation in your shoulders, your chest, and your upper back body. So if that feels good, feel free to take it. Otherwise, feel free to keep those arms down on your legs. Take one more cow, one more cat, and then release your hands down to your thighs. From here, we're just gonna begin extending one leg at a time and then bringing that leg back in. So the goal is to feel this nice tall spine. So you may feel a little bit of sensation in your hamstrings. But we're just gonna start waking up the backs of our legs, finding a little bit of length in our back body. You may even feel a little sensation in your low back. Take one more to each side. And then hug your right knee to your chest. Pull your shoulders down and back. Nice tall spine, grounded evenly through both sitting bones. If it feels good, you can release your left hand just so that you can find a little external rotation here in your hip. Only if this feels nice in your body. Could even take some circles. Give yourself a little massage in that hip flexor. One more circle if you're here with me. Then we'll release back to center, cross our right ankle at the bottom of our left thigh, and then find a little bit of engagement or flexion in your ankle. So pull your right, the top of your right foot, back towards your shin. That's gonna keep your knee safe and keep the sensation in your outer hip. So check in, if this is too much sensation, you can scoot your left leg forward or inch it back so that your ankle's underneath your, underneath your knee. And then if you're sitting upright and this feels like not quite enough sensation in your body, you can fold forward, folding at the hips, keeping a nice tall spine Hands can come to rest wherever they're comfortable. Stay connected with your breath. If you're folded, try to avoid, um, sometimes we have a natural tendency to pick up tension in our neck when we're folded. And so try to keep those shoulders relaxed. You could even shake your head from side to side. As a nice physical reminder to Relax through the upper neck, upper shoulders, upper back. Inhale, rise on up. And exhale, uncross that leg. We'll take it to the other side. So as you're ready, get grounded first. Take your time. And then we'll hug our left knee to our chest. Keep those shoulders back and down. You can stay here, maybe even just taking some anchor rolls if this is the option that feels best to you. If you liked that um, kind of hip flexor massage and outer hip stretch, you can release your right arm, send your left leg out to the side and give that hip flexor some circles. You could even slide your knee from side to side. Right arm, if it's released, you can hold on to the chair to help you keep your balance. This can take a lot of core strength. And so you can use your body to help you out. This is a recovery class. If you've taken that external rotation option, come back to center. One more nice hug to the chest. And then we'll find that seated figure four option 
on the other side. So first step is first, find this flexion in your ankle. It's most important to keep our body safe before we try to explore different variations of this posture. Check in. We hold tension differently through both sides of our body. And so the option that you chose on the right side might look a little bit different than the option that you take on the left. You can bring your fingertips behind you, press into them just to send your heart space forward slightly. If folding doesn't feel great in your body, this could be a nice option just to feel a little bit more sensation and to start feeling this nice, tall, confident, strong posture in your body. If you'd like to fold, again, you can fold, folding at the hips rather than the spine. Nice neutral neck. Send your breath to the parts of your body where you're feeling it the most. Maybe you're feeling it in your outer hip, maybe in your low back. Inhale, rise if you folded, and exhale, uncross your leg. Let's give a little love to our low back and our hamstrings. As you're ready, begin to extend your right leg long. I'm gonna to turn to the side, this side actually, just so you can see me a little bit better. But you can stay facing kind of straight on if that's most comfortable. Take a moment to get situated. Our left knee is gonna be bent at that 90 degree angle about. Um, we're all rocked back on our right heel, right toes are pointed up towards the sky. On your next breath in, as you ground down through your sitting bones, reach the crown of your head up towards the sky. You should feel some length in your side bodies, maybe even some stretching through your abdominal muscles. And then exhale, hinge at your hips. Now this pose um, is Janu Shirsasana, and it's called nose to knee pose. So a lot of times we have this picture of drawing our nose towards our knee. But instead, I want you to imagine sending your heart space towards your big toe. We're putting in some effort today and finding this nice, tall, relaxed spine. Let's stick with that theme. Gaze is just past your big toe. If you're finding like it's too much in your body today to fold, Take that fingertip option, bring those fingertips behind you, press into the chair, and just try to find a little bit of lift in that heart space, a little bit of length in your low back. And then we'll be here for several breaths. As you get settled, maybe you hinge ever so slightly um, more forward. Nice about holding postures for an extended period of time is they tend to settle into your body to some extent. And then you may need to adjust. Or you may spend several breaths in a posture and realize that it is too much and you need to back off a little bit. Either way, it's a good learning opportunity between you and your body. Take three more full breath exchanges. The bottom of your next exhale, find some engagement in your core just to support your low back if you folded. And inhale, rise back upward. Let's take it to the other side. So again, you can stay face uh, facing forward. I'm just going to turn so you can see me a little bit better. Find that extension in your left leg. We're on our left heel. Left toes are pointed up towards the sky. We're grounded down through both sitting bones. If you need to shuffle back and forth as well, you're more than welcome to do so. Then bring your hands to a comfortable spot. Inhale, ground down through your sitting bones as you find length in your spine. And then exhale. Send your heart space forward, whether that's pressing into your fingertips 
or folding at your hips. We'll take several breaths here in silence, allowing you to really tune in to what you're feeling in your body, whether it's the physical sensation of the stretch, maybe the physical sensation of your breath passing in and out of your body, maybe the stillness of your mind. the bottom of your next exhale, find some engagement in your core if you fold it. Inhale slowly, safely, rise back up to seated. We're gonna to finish today uh, with eagle arms and you can add the legs if you'd like, um, but we're gonna focus mostly on our shoulders, upper back body, and even a little bit into our neck and arms. As you're ready, we'll extend our arms out in front of us Hook your left elbow under your right. Come up to this V with your palms facing, uh, facing you. And then release those palms to your shoulders. If this is too much in your body, you can keep your hands up. Just lift through those elbows. If your palms are on your shoulders, find that same lifting through your elbows. And then check in. If this is feeling like enough sensation in your body, stay right here. This is a really cool version of Eagle Pose. If you're looking for more sensation, we're gonna hook our left arm around again, bringing our palms to touch, fingertips shining up towards the sky, then find that lift in your elbows. Notice if you're starting to turn with your shoulders, pull them back in alignment. It's gonna take a little bit of effort in your core to allow your shoulders to be stable. Almost this lifting up off of your waist. So feel free to ground down into both of those feet, into both of your sitting bones. So you can find this nice, light, tall upper body. Three more breath exchanges. Exhale, release this posture. Bring, let your hands rest back in this easy, comfortable posture. Just notice the sensations that that brought up in your body. Notice any differences that you feel, maybe between your left shoulder, your right shoulder, your left upper neck, uh, right upper neck. Then we'll take it to the other side. Send those arms back in front. Now hooking your right arm under your left and find the option that feels best. So we can stay here in this V. We can release our hands to our shoulders or we can hook that right arm all the way back around, bringing our palms together, fingertips pointed up towards the sky and then find that lift through your elbows and shoulders. Square off those shoulders if you're noticing any rounding or twisting or turning. Should be a lot of twisting here in the arms, but not so much in the shoulders. Again, take a few breaths in silence. Maybe feeling your breath fill up your low rib cage or maybe just noticing the sensation and sending your breath to your shoulder area if it needs a little love. Your next exhale, 
Release your arms down to your comfortable spot. Take a moment just feeling the echo of that posture. Sometimes it's, there's a tendency to want to shake things out and move. There's a benefit to sitting and noticing. One more full breath exchange. And then for our very last posture, reach back and grab the outer edge of your chair. If you have a backrest to your chair, we're just gonna send our heart forward, creating a little bit of tension in our arms. Just feeling a little bit of last opening through our chest, especially after Eagle, that can feel a little bit constricting, a little bit confining. One more full breath exchange. Bottom of your exhale, strong core. And inhale, rise safely back to your comfortable seat. Take the Shavasana of your choice, if that is down on the mat, or maybe just the nice restorative chair version of Shavasana. And enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for sharing this practice with me today. Namaste.